All right, could you tell us real quick who you are and where you're from? I'm Brian Crosswhite. I am from Washington, D.C. I'm with an organization called 2AO. All right, very good. All right, Brian, where do you think our economy is headed in the next five years, based on where we sit currently? Well, uh, as an economist, I can tell you that our economy is, is actually going down. It's not going up, especially under this administration. There's a lot of things that's going on that's uh, actually hindering our economy from the regulations and uh, legislation that's being passed, executive orders. Do you see it taking it up, uh, going up in the cycle at all in the next 10 years? Uh, possibly. It can only go, go up after this uh, administration. So hopefully the next administration that comes in can start making some changes and uh, stop the, the process of destroying our Constitution. Do you think we're going to hit rock bottom before the end of this administration? Uh, could very well. I mean, if you look at the uh, GDP and look at what's going on from a, a financial standpoint within uh, our national treasury and, and things that's going on from our government, I believe that we are, we have an opportunity to hit what Gre uh, Greece is, uh, actually happened to Greece. So it's quite possible. Now, in Washington, we hear a lot of talk from lobbyists and other organizations about a balanced budget amendment. In reality, how much would this actually help get the uh, spending and the economy back under control? Actually, if you did a balanced budget amendment, I believe that there is a possibility of getting it under control. It's going to take a while, but that's going to be our first step. Very good. Very good. All right, I want to shift to elections real quick. Okay. What do you think the Republican Party has to do to reach out to the youth, the women, minorities in 2016? What can they do to bring those votes over to our side? Yeah, so I think the, the main thing for the Republican Party is get rid of everyone who is in the leadership of the Republican Party today. I, you look at John McCain, you look at Lindsey Graham, people like that. You look at the, um, the um, speaker, these guys, Mitch McConnell, they're the uh, old guard of the Republican Party. This is what's hindering the Republican Party. There's no conservative anymore in the Republican Party. This is why I'm a libertarian. That's why my organization is fighting for the rights of, of pro-Second Amendment businesses um, is because the Republican Party has pretty much let us down. So I think the only way the Republican Party ever come back is to get people uh, who are, are to get, reach the youth, reach the minorities, is to change leadership. Look at Ted Cruz, look at uh, Lee. Those are good examples of what we need as our leadership. Very good. Now, based on your uh, political beliefs and your stance, who would you like to see run for the presidency in 2016? I see a good ticket. Uh, Ted Cruz running for president and uh, and Lee running for vice president. I think it would be a good ticket. I think um, they have a big opportunity to win. All right. And one last question. If you could say anything to President Obama right now, what would you say to him? I'd say to President Obama, he needs to stop using the executive orders. We need to protect the Second Amendment. And that's, that's what I would tell him right now. He needs to stop what destroying our Constitution. All right. That's what we got. Thanks. All right. Thanks, man.